Alrighty everyone, and welcome back to another weekly episode of Sawyer-san's Magic Ride. As you saw from the roll-in footage that I took this morning, today was a downpour of torrential proportions. So I actually talked to some of my students today, and they said that even though this is considered the rainy season in Japan, June is the start of the rainy season, this kind of weather is unusual. The last two weeks of June have been exceptionally dry by my farmer students' uh, standards. So, uh, this was just payback for all that dry, sweet, sweet dryness that I've been experiencing. So today, I got soaked on my way to work, and luckily though, it ended before I had to leave. As for the news in this week, there's not really a whole lot to go over. My life has become boring and unexciting. It's become all very ordinary in the last couple weeks or so. So now, let's move on to questions, comments, and snide remarks. The part of the show where I answer your questions, comments, and snide remarks that you leave in the Facebook and YouTube comments section. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start this week with Facebook. First we have Aunt Roberta. Yeah, awesome, and congratulations. How long is the schooling? Two years? And then do you have to apprentice? So excited for you and something to look forward to. Pursue your dreams. Now is the time in life to do that. Uh, so as for the questions, how long is the schooling? It is going to be about two years, maybe a year and a half, because I have already a bachelor's degree, so many of my prerequisites are going to be non-issues, I believe. Um, do I have to apprentice? To an extent, yes. As a gunsmith, I will have to apprentice. After I leave... Uh, after I graduate from Green River, I'm going to have a machining certificate or associate's degree, whichever one I believe will be better. So I can be a machinist right out of school. It's going to take a little extra training to be a gunsmith. Next, Aunt Julie says, will school change the date you head for home? When does school start? School will not change the date I head for home. Um, school starts in the 20, on the 25th of September. Uh, that's when the fall quarter starts and my contract with Nova, well, I have to leave the country before the 11th, so it's not too much of an issue. So I've got two weeks once I get back to secure an apartment, a car, and a job. A day job. Right. Mom asks, are you going to get an apartment with some of your buddies? Uh, I'd like to. However, most of my friends from school or around that area are in different housing situations. Spencer is doing interns for another year. Way to go, him. And Travis is living with his parents, still. So, you know, I can't blame the guy. Rent for free is better than rent for cheap. And Sky, of course, has his own house that is paid for by the church, so I wouldn't ever expect him to move. As far as other people go, um, I haven't put out too many feelers yet, but I would like to. Uh, paying $400 a month for rent would be far better than paying $800. Uh, Robin Smick asks, where is the gunsmith training at? Great question. So the gunsmith training is kind of something I haven't really got figured out yet. As far as the schooling goes, the schooling is focused solely on machining, cutting metal using different tools like the lathe, the mill, uh, CNC tools. However, gunsmithing training is going to have to come after that, and that's going to be not focused around the metal aspect, you know, tapping holes or mounting things, getting the proper torque ratio. That's all going to be covered in the machining. However, Gunsmithing also includes a lot of woodwork, uh, checkering stocks, shaping stocks. That's part of gunsmithing as well. So that's something I'm going to have to get from experience, either by being an apprentice at a shop and being a machinist already will give me a head start on that next step. It's going to make me a lot easier to train in a shop. Uh, Cousin Russ 6 says, wow, gunsmithing, that's awesome, congrats. Thanks, Cousin Russ. And that looks like it's going to be it for this week's edition of Questions, Comments, and Sound Remarks. Um, I'm sorry, guys, if it sounds or it feels like I'm getting shorter and shorter with my videos. Hopefully that means you guys have more opportunities to watch them. But uh, it's also kind of a byproduct of me trying to save money, like I said in the last update. Uh, I just can't afford now, now that I know what I'm going to be doing next year, I can't really afford to be spending, you know, $20 to go to Hamamatsu and back, you know, just to record footage. And 
you know, as far as daily adventures go, I'm perfectly content staying in my apartment, as Sky knows, and he might beat me up once I get back because I'm not doing anything special. But fear not! Once August rolls around, on the 15th and 16th, like I've said in a couple of posts before, I'll be going to Gotemba with uh, my church's summer camp. And actually, I've received some more information on that. I've received a packing list, and uh, so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm hoping to get a lot of good footage to bring back to you guys. Gotemba is a really scenic area around a mountain that uh, actually the U.S. forces and some JSDF forces do field exercises around. So thank you all so much for watching. Tune in next week for more awesome content with subpar production values. I'll see you then. Bye.